Fellow Toastmasters, welcome to this quick training on the Basecamp Manager role. After this presentation, you'll understand the Basecamp Manager role and its tasks, and you'll be able to complete these tasks in less than 10 minutes each week. Quick introduction to who I am. My name's Mark Wiltshire. I've been a Toastmaster for just over four years. I've been president of the London Public Speakers Club near London Bridge, and I was also a Pathways Guide and visited 10 clubs in the district to help them take on the new challenges and excitement of Pathways. So with a couple of questions, who here has started a path on Pathways? And what level are you on? And who can tell me what is the base camp manager role? Thank you. Members use Basecamp to access pathways. Basecamp is like that toolbox to access the content. And pathways is that content, it's the courses that you're taking. You as the Basecamp manager are effectively managing that toolbox, keeping it tidy and organized. The Basecamp manager is not managing the meeting. It's not managing the, it is managing the user's self-paced learning through the Pathways learning experience. Note, it is recommended that the Vice President of Education takes on the Basecamp manager role for your club because they have the best understanding of who has completed what roles and speeches at e each meeting and therefore they are best placed to validate users' progress. So today we're going to cover these three quick points. Give you a very quick overview of the tasks that the Basecamp Manager can complete and then show you how to complete that in less than 10 minutes a week. And then also just give you some resources and videos to help your continued learning, to help you if you've got any questions in the future. So here are the four tasks that you'll complete as Basecamp Manager. Number one, you have to validate level completion. This is like that gatekeeper. You ensure that people are actually doing their speeches. Task two, if anyone in your club is doing uh, the manuals on printed materials rather than digital, then you will manage their digital progress in Basecamp. So each time they complete a speech or a project, you'll just move them on in Basecamp. Task three, you will manage and respond to external project requests. And task four, you will be tracking progress. So this will help your committee in your club manage the club. So you can provide this information to other members in the committee to ensure that everyone is getting what they need from Toastmasters. So if people are excelling well, you have the opportunity to reward them from that. And if people are struggling, you have the ability to see that and therefore offer that member some extra help or support, whatever they need. An important point to note that you have to register your awards. So when everyone, anyone completes an award in the old education program, competent communicator, competent leadership, etc., and pathways, then both must still be registered on Club Central. So let's give a quick overview of that task one. As Basecamp Manager, you're the gatekeeper as you validate people's progress through pathways. Each time a member completes a level, they'll not be able to proceed to the next level until the Basecamp Manager has approved their progress. Therefore, you need to do this in a timely manner to ensure members can open the new level and projects to continue their learning. As a minimum, you should carry this out every club meeting. So if your club meets every fortnight, you should do this every fortnight. Remember, only the Vice President of Education, President and Secretary can log in as Basecamp Manager. Note, this cannot be assigned to any other person. This is automatically allocated based on your role in Club Central. The login as Basecamp Manager is different to the member login. As you see here, I've gone into Toastmasters International website and then I have login member, but I also have this extra button, login as a Basecamp Manager. So we click that. The home screen is similar to Basecamp, similar to your member login, but with three different options. Pending requests, here's where you manage your level completions and external training requests. The second box is member progress, here's where we track the progress. And then manager, 
manager tutorials is a whole load of useful helps and videos and tips and training about getting the best out of Basecamp Manager. So if you're ever lost in Basecamp Manager, I would urge you go to this first to find the answers. We're validating a level completion, so we're going to click on pending requests. This is your inbox for requests for both level completion and external training requests. You look in here for level completions. You can see here we've got the boxes icon, so it's someone completing some training. And we click the member name to view their transcript to see, well, what do they say they've done? And we go and look up what the uh, required projects are to complete this level. As Vice President of Education, you'll know if they've completed their required projects. If you're not sure, you can use the search in the top right-hand box of Basecamp to go and look up what's required on that path and level. You can now go back and on the right-hand side, there's a green box to approve or a red cross to deny that progress. Either way, the next screen you get to enter additional information. I would urge you, if you're doing a deny, please give clear details back to the member about why you're denying this request. Usually, if they haven't done the speech. You can also then print out a certificate. In Toastmasters, as you know, we like to reward members as they progress. So once you've completed their level completion, you can use that search box in the top right and start searching for the user's name. When you found the user, you can click on transcript under their name to view their training. Then you click on the open curriculum for the path that they were just working on and then view details and then click on the level completion project for that level. You'll now see uh, the level completion certificate and under certificate, there's a purple link in the print certificate. You can click on that and then print out their certificate. Remember, if your club is so inclined, you can also buy ribbons from the Toastmasters International website. Task two. This is very similar to the print certificates in digital. So here we're now doing the path and level completion for printed anyone in your club doing printed materials. Remember, this needs to be completed for every project as the members are going through printed materials. So you're effectively tracking their progress for them online. You log into Basecamp Manager, as we saw before. You search for the user using the search box in the top right. You then click on their transcript under their name and then open the path that they're working on, open the level they're working on, and then view checklist for the project that they've just completed. We then check the box that says validate to complete this project. And then we hit save. After a level completion for someone who's doing printed, you can also print out their certificate. This is in a slightly different location. You just select the attachments tab, and then there's a PDF that you can click on to then print out that certificate for that member. Task three. We're over halfway already. So projects outside the club. Who actually knew that with Pathways that you can actually now do projects outside your club? When you're logging into Basecamp Manager as a member, on the right-hand side, under the Options box, you can see an Add External Training. So if there's a project in the path that you're doing that is pertinent to something you're doing at work or in another capacity, then you have the option to request, oh, I think this fits the goals of this project. Can I have it as credit towards my Pathways Learning Experience? So as a member would then request this and then validate that you completed that project. So as Basecamp Manager, you have to respond to these requests. It's very similar to the first task where you get the level completions in your inbox. So you log into Basecamp Manager, you view your pending requests. Here we see the external requests with an inbox icon. And we can see this is type initial, which means a member has thinks they've got a project that will fit the requirements of a project in Pathways, and they want to request and validate that before they go ahead and do it. 
So here you select the folder icon next to the member's name. You review the project request uh, and decide if this meets the requirements. Here you can click on the pending request here and see all the details that the person has typed in. If you don't know the project or, or path that the member is working on, you can go and look up in the tutorials and resources. Under here, search for project descriptions, then select the preferred language, and then the project, and then select it. After viewing the project description, go back to your inbox, and then you can approve or deny that request. External project completion requests are very similar, except the type will have now changed from initial into completion. So the user has now gone and completed that project outside the club or in a different club from their home club. And you just validate that in the same way. The last task that you have to do as Basecamp Manager is track progress. There's a lot of information now available in Basecamp Manager under Member Progress. Today, we'll just look at the individual progress as this is the best way of identifying those members who are progressing well and those members who need a little more help or support in your club. You log into Basecamp Manager and now you select the Member Progress. You select the individual progress on the left-hand side and under options, always when you're looking at the member progress information, click refresh. This makes sure that you get the latest data. When you first open the page, it doesn't always get the latest data. So by getting in this habit of clicking options and refresh, make sure you're always seeing the latest data. Each graph shows the level of progress, and as you move over the mouse over the graph, you can go and click View Details. Down the page, you'll see each level, one, two, three, four, five, and which path is being done and the number of members on that combination. Here, we can now see the member details. So we can see what training is, their transcript status. Registered means they're only at level one and it means they've added this to their path, but they've not actually started a project yet. In progress means they've opened it and actually launched Basecamp and are working on a project. You'll also see a percentage on the right hand side so you can see if they're making progress. Our top tip is to print this out each time you go in so you can track members progress. So you have a time by time stamp of what percentage they are through this path. So that's the four tasks. And here's my top tip for completing all those tasks in less than 10 minutes a week. I'd recommend you go into Basecamp Manager usually just after the meeting. First, you go to your inbox and check you for any entries that you need to process. This will be for level completion requests and print certificates, and also any external training requests. If you've had anyone in your club progressing on printed materials and they took part in any projects this week or fortnight, then you would need to progress, make any progressions that they have made. And finally, track progress. Go into that individual report, print it out so that you've got a comparison from week by week. Finally, here's some resources and videos to help you. First of all, I'd urge you to go into Basecamp and use that search box in the top right or do the manager training tutorials and look at information there. Secondly, there is a pathways group. The URL is there, not very user friendly. And there's also the Toastmaster International Pathways Discussion Forum, which is also fantastic for finding information and help.
There's also a whole series of videos and tips available that I recorded as a Pathways Guide and you're welcome to go and look at those and use those as you wish. They are on londonpublicspeakers.co.uk under the Members Tools section. So a quick review of what we covered today. We gave an introduction to what the Basecamp Manager role is and showed you that these tank tasks need to be regularly completed. Task one, that level completion for digital members and printing their certificates. If you have any members in your club that are doing printed materials, then you need to manually move them in Basecamp. Task three, processing external project requests. And the final task, tracking progress. Secondly, we gave you a useful checklist to get this completed in under 10 minutes a week. And finally, we gave you some resources to help you if you have any queries in the future. Thank you for your time. I trust you find that useful. Do you have any questions?